the engine was starting to make sounds like it was quitting. Left engine won't spool. I left engine just cut out. We lost both engines. Both engines are now out. This DC-9 is a glider, and it's falling at 56 feet per second. They're at 14,000 feet. They don't have a lot of time. Get us a vector to a clear area, Atlanta. If Captain McKenzie is unable to restart the engines, the crew will be forced to make an emergency landing. I wasn't aware of what was going on around me. I was so focused on trying to figure out a way to save myself. I knew that sometimes the tail breaks off in an accident, and I felt the further back I could get, the better. Southern Airways 242 finally breaks through the storm clouds. Get those engines started. I realized I was in an emergency situation, and I felt like I was going to die but I decided I would do everything I could to try to help my chances. I had previously collected some blankets and pillows and had gotten my leather jacket off the uh, overhead rack. And uh, I arranged those in the make a nest as much as I could for myself. Southern Airways Flight 242 has lost too much altitude to make it to a runway. The pilots need to land the plane now. I'm picking out a clear field. Billy, you have to find me a highway. Let's get the next clear open field. No, Bill. See a highway over there. No cars. Keel decides to bring the plane down onto Georgia State Highway 92. We're putting it on the highway. We're down to nothing. The first officer lines up the aircraft for the emergency landing. Flaps. They're down to 50. Oh, God, Bill. I hope we can do it. There's a car ahead. I got it. I got it now. I got it. Brace for impact! It was smooth. It seemed like it was going to work and everything was going to turn out OK. And then it immediately bounced back up in the air and slammed down. Before the plane completely stopped moving, uh, there was fire blowing through the cabin. I felt my face burning, even though I tried to cover it with my leather jacket. Come on, damn it. I got my seatbelt loose after a few tries and turned toward the rear of the airplane and I saw a spot of light. I got up and ran for that light. I could not believe I was alive. I just could not believe it. I could see a crack of light, and I thought, I'm going through that crack of light, come hell or high water. I'll remember to the day I died. Everything was on fire, trees burning, and pieces of aircraft. It was unreal. I've never seen anything like it, and never want to see anything like that again. Seventy-two people, including pilots Lyman Keel and Bill McKenzie, die in the crash of Southern Airways Flight 242. 